is it Tempe or Tempe, Arizona? Man, why do I got to talk about this again? Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and yes, we are talking about the self-driving car accident in Tempe, Arizona. I hope I said that correctly. Um, so here's the funny thing. I was having a conversation when this first hit, and one of my fellow Uber tubers who I was talking to on the phone said that this was being treated like a plane crash. It wasn't going to be resolved in a few months. We would probably be talking about it for years later, and sure enough, we're still talking about it. There is still new information coming out about this crash. And here's another interesting story. I was talking with someone today who works in safety transportation in the city of Irvine. And he said that um, traffic engineers do not call accidents accidents. They call them collusions because there is no such thing as an accident on the road. There's always preventable measures outside of like, you know, maybe like being struck by lightning or there an earthquake going on. You almost every single car crash can be avoided. And as more and more information comes out, we see Uber more and more flagrantly disregarding safety. And why is that? Let's talk about it. So according to Business Insider, Uber used to have two safety drivers in its self-driving cars, one to monitor the driving and one for inputting data into an iPad. Before, by the way, surfaces are better. Before a crash that killed a pedestrian in March, the company began testing with just one driver. The revelation comes as part of a Business Insider investigation into the death of an Arizona pedestrian who was hit by an Uber autonomous vehicle in March. After one of the Uber self-driving test car struck and killed a pedestrian in Arizona in March, some employees blamed the safety driver because she was streaming Hulu while operating the vehicle, which... Of course, I argued against that all the time. Not in the sense that I don't feel the driver did something wrong. No, no, no. She should have been paying attention. But here's the other thing. The bigger picture is that the whole idea of the cars is that you shouldn't need to have your wheel on your hand on the wheel. You don't need to drive. You don't need to pay attention. The whole idea behind the self-driving cars is that you don't need to pay attention. And now here they are saying like, oh, well, our driver wasn't paying attention. Yeah, well, no one's going to be paying attention when these things are on the road. Your cars are supposed to fix this problem, and they're not. I mean, granted, I, I know that they're in the early testing stages. They could probably eventually figure it out. But it doesn't make a very good argument. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, but behind the scenes, a number of things were happening that may have contributed to the crash. Current and former Uber employees told Business Insider's Julie Bort, One thing workers said changed before the accident was that Uber removed a second driver from the test vehicles. The second driver used to be responsible for logging the car's issues on an iPad app and dealing with the car's requests to identify objects on the road, but employees told Business Insider that the entire job now fell to one person. It was like distracted driving, like watching their cell phone 10 to 15% of the drive said, time said one software engineer. And you know, that's a problem because here's the thing. We have anti-cell phone laws for a reason in the sense that you can't text and drive. You have to have a hands-free device. There is a reason we have that because being distracted from the road contributes to more accidents. Now, some people, of course, at this point will say, well, what about like music and, you know, the CD player and the radio and, you know, yeah, I know there's things that distract you, and there always will be talking to friends in the car. But here's the thing. Cell phones usage takes away so much of your attention that accidents increase. That's why we put a stop to it. And yet, here comes Uber. We're testing out a self-driving car, and you know what? We're going to put the job that actually forces someone to not pay attention to the road. Here's another thing that I love about this. We were saying, oh, the driver wasn't paying attention. Well, you know what? Okay, let's change the scenario. What if she wasn't watching Hulu? She might have been put inputting data on the iPad. In that sense, she is still distracted. Uber has set this up by not having a second person there to deal with that, that there would be distracted driving at some point in time. Holy cow, Uber. You just are infamous for your screw-ups. There is a reason you have gotten more than a 1,000 videos of maybe more than 900, to be perfectly honest, of me just complaining about stupid things you do. It's really unfreaking believable 
But let's continue. The decision helped Uber double the number of miles it could log with a single pair of drivers, but it also led to a concerned email from a safety driver to the company's advanced technological group leader, Eric Mayhofter. Oh, why do you even bother sending emails? <laughs> they go to the trash, the first thing. Quote, the drivers felt they were not being utilized. Well, duh. <laughs> you watch my channel, you know that. They were being asked to drive around in circles, but that their feedback was not changing anything. Oh, gee, I have no idea how that feels, said one former engineer of Uber's self-driving unit who was familiar with the driver program. Uber has now said the self-driving car unit plans to return to the two-driver system when it sends the cars on the road. Oh, yeah, they keep saying, like, yeah, we're going to get on the road. No, your cars are off the road. Uber, even if you get them on the road again, no one's going to trust them. I, you're, this is toast. There, there's a reason you're considering spinning. Okay, so anyway, let's... Uh, now, some people might actually be asking, why did they do this? Why did Uber reduce, go from two drivers to one? The answer is really simple. If you're still thinking about it, I mean, I don't know what to say if you're still thinking about it. The reason they did it was to save money. That's why they did it. They wanted to save money. Uber went about the self-driving car route the worst possible way that any company could have possibly done this. They start out as a company that had a shady record for not vetting their drivers properly or their riders and saying, hey, trust us with your safety on the road. And people said, no. And then they said, they said, oh, trust on the road, we've got engineers in the car. And they're not engineers. They're just people who drive vehicles. Then they say, hey, you know what? We need to get on the road a little bit faster. So let's take away several safety sensors that usually go on the car that would, you know, prevent accidents. They would better do the job anyway. Let's just take them off, get them on the road faster. And then after all of that, what do they decide to do? He's like, you know what? We're paying two people $12 an hour to just sit in the cars and not doing anything. I mean, look, the driver's not actually driving. What do they need to pay attention to the road for? Let's get rid of the guy who runs the iPad, who puts the data in the iPad. The driver, since they're not driving, they can just put the information in the iPad. Genius. Absolutely genius. I have no idea why this went completely off the rails. No idea whatsoever. I mean, it's just a shock. How on earth did Uber, after all of that, after that whole story, why do you think the driverless car crash and kill the pedestrian? And by the way, they will do it again. Uber will kill again with this thing. It's just a matter of time. It's not even an if, it's a matter of when. Because they cheap out on everything, they want to do it cheap, they want to do it fast, and they want to be there first. They don't take safety consideration, they don't even have a full long-term goal. I don't even think the CEO of Uber knows what to do with the company right now, now that the growth has slowed. I mean, losing a billion dollars every quarter, hey, as long as we're growing, that's fine, but once the growth slows, it's like... Hmm, yeah, you think people are going to want to invest in a company that's losing money and not growing? I wonder. I just wonder. But anyway, that's where we're going to leave this. I think this is going to be a less than 10 minute video, maybe potentially. Should I just drag this out a little bit more? No, let's just wrap this up. Okay, so anyway, you know the drill. What do you think about the, this? Do you think they're going to get back on the road? Do you think they're toast? I would love to know. So, comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, but even this $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one. Oh, look at that. We did get to 10 minutes.